is three years okay, validity and for CCNP is also three years validity and for CCI it's going to be two years. Okay. Now in case your CCNA is going to be expiring soon, for, like for example, this is your third year, you need to renew your CCNA certification, right? So it's either you retake the CCNA or you can proceed with one module of CCNP. Okay, so CCNP has three modules. So it's up to you. If you have attended my CCNA seminar, definitely you'll know when is you know, what is the certification path. You can go ahead with the routing and switching path, security, voice, or design. Those were the four popular paths for certification for professional certification for CCNA. Okay, so very popular is routing and switching. So you can take the three modules. So once you finish the three module exams, that's the time you become a CCNP certified. So you can enjoy the CCNP certification for three years, and if it's expiring soon, you can take the CCIE, okay? So CCIE has two exams, one is the written and one is the lab. And it's actually really expensive, okay? And most of the time you'll have to take it overseas. In, in Singapore, they try to do some mobile lab, okay, every year. So Two exams and it can cost you about 3,000, 3,500 sing, including the written exam. Okay? Now you might be thinking, oh, CCIE, I think uh, that's the end. I don't need to recertify myself. No, there is. There's a two years validity for CCIE. You still have to recertify yourself. Now you might be thinking, wow, Cisco is earning a lot, right? Every time I have to renew my cert, every time I have to pay, now the reason why they came up with it with a certification program is not only because of monetary 